This is the Max Music Gig Kit. This is an extremely cheap £93 guitar kit for beginner guitarists. I was asked to review this by one of my subscribers and seeing as there were no reviews of this online I thought I'd do it just for you people. But my question is, are they taking the pit? So, in with all of this, what do we get? Well, a pack of unbranded strings. Again, these strings are always pretty much useless. You have your cheap guitar cable with the whammy bar and your two adjustment tools. You have a little clip-on tuner. Now, I have actually already tried this and it does work, so that is a nice little addition. You have a strap. And what they call a gig bag, I would call it a dust cover. Also coming with a kit is this 40 watt max gig kit amplifier. We'll come on to that in a moment. But let's get on to the main event right here, the guitar. What do we have? So we have two Chinese ceramic humbuckers, the same kind of thing you get in any very, very cheap, low-end budget guitar. The bridge here, well, um, when I first unboxed it, the little screw here basically pinged out. It had not been screwed in at all. The bridge also came literally stuck to the body. I had to get the old screwdriver out and go through it just to, you know, pull it out a bit. I had to go through the back just to be able to use the whammy bar. So it had been hard tailed. Two speed knobs right here. Now, they do look a little wonky when you're turning them. But I suppose in a budget guitar, you're going to expect something like that, aren't you, really? Three-way selector switch, that seems to work well. So as you can see the finish here, this is supposed to be quilted maple. To me, it doesn't look like that, given how it's been cut. To me, it looks like that is a picture that has been stuck on there and then they've simply laminated over it. Obviously, I'm not absolutely certain that that's the case, but to me, that's what it looks like. So we have a maple neck with a plastic nut. And if you take a look at the nut right here, you can see it's actually put on wonky. So that's another thing that this guitar does not have going for it. Another problem I had with this guitar was the input jack. That, basically, the first time I plugged it in and then had a noodle with it and unplugged it, that too came apart. So I had to spend time putting that back up. The action on this, now believe me, I've lowered this to as much as I could and it's still not great. Have I made it playable? Well, I personally do not think so. But hey, this is the budget guitar show, right? And we're gonna try. Let's take a quick look at their advert for this guitar pack. And then I'm gonna recreate that advert and see if everything that they do can be achieved with this.
Okay, so let's recap what is actually wrong with this guitar. You have the wonky nut. The action is still completely high. The pickups were not heightened when the guitar came. The bridge was completely hard tailed. So when you first stick that whammy bar in, it's not doing anything. The knobs are a bit wonky. It is really as light as a feather and brings to my mind that of a glary guitar. Now, you all know how much I dislike glaries, but I think we should be fair to this guitar. Let's plug it in to the Mustang 4 amplifier and see how it does truly sound. So I think my main issues with this guitar is the fact that it's aimed at beginners and there's a lot of issues in this that a beginner guitarist would not be able to fix themselves. They would have to take this to a luthier and quite frankly it's not worth that. Um, I certainly wouldn't spend the money to get this into any kind of playable condition. The amp that it comes with is also terrible. The sounds and the noises that that thing makes would put off any guitar player. It doesn't matter whether you're a beginner, intermediate or you're a rock star. It's something that you just do not want. For the price of £98, there's a lot of other stuff out there that you could pick up if you want to begin playing the guitar, which is a hell of a lot better than this £98 piece of crap. There are plenty of Fazleys or Harley Bentons which are much better made and they sound much better. And yes, bits of those are not likely to come off when you first plug the guitar in. So would I recommend this guitar kit? No I wouldn't. For a beginner it's going to be a nightmare. A beginner will pick this up, plug it in, hear it and then we'll put it back in the box and forget about it. It's definitely not a great advert for learning to play the guitar. As a little postscript to the story of this, I gave them a call and spoke to somebody in their main office and uh, they have offered me a replacement so they are coming tomorrow to pick this guitar up and I've gone for something slightly different and we'll see if that one is any better in terms of the guitar. We know the amp is going to be absolute rubbish, but if you want to see what that guitar is, 
just wait till next Thursday's video. I want to thank you all for watching the show. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? It all helps the channel. There are many ways you can support this channel. They are shown up on the screen right now, and they are linked down below in the description box. We must thank our budget backers, as always, who help keep this channel going. I'll be back with our live Sunday session this Sunday at 6.30pm. I hope you can all join me. And I'll be back with a follow-up video to this on Thursday at 6pm. So, stay safe, stay sane, keep rocking, and oi oi guys.